بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد A couple of questions arose regarding fasting which opened up a lot of very beneficial uh, principles regarding fasting which we can all benefit from so it caused uh, it opened the opportunity for us to do research and it opened up some very beneficial masail the first question was the person said I had a bath and when I poured water over my head a couple of times I could feel water drops going into my mouth I could still feel some going into my mouth while pouring water on the other parts of my body I felt like I felt like tiny part uh, amounts of water was going down my throat I don't know what to do about this if it happens again can you suggest what I can do I don't want my fast to be broken by these little amounts of water so that was the first issue is that little drops they felt little drops of water going down their mouth and to be very concise before we get into the issues so that the person doesn't have to go through the whole sitting is that does not break your fast because that is shuk that is well well yakin la yazulu bi shuk that you you were certain you were fasting and just because you have shuk you have doubt that does not uh open the door that you you broke your fast your fast is not broken from you doubting i felt that I thought that you know you weren't sure and on top of that we're going to get into other principles of why that did not break your fast the second question when I do wudu it feels like tiny amounts of water goes down my throat when I put water in my mouth and spit it out and when I sniff water it feels like tiny amounts of water go into my mouth and down my throat etc so instead I make my index finger wet three times and put them in my nostrils can I do this what else can I do no you cannot do that you cannot put wet your fingers and put it in your nose and make that suffice for instant shock instant shock you have to bring water into your nose so you must be very careful from that that ijtihad is ghayr sahih on your part and you must uh make instant shock with water you know as a prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam illustrated for us and 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 related to us in many authentic hadith and in regards to that even if the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said regarding istinshak sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said uh during wudu while a person is fasting the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said asbagh asbagh wudu wa ba wa balag fi istinshak illa an tukun sa'im so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked about the wudu and he said you know make a perfect wudu you know be camel and 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 exaggerate your wudu you know go just a little beyond the parts just a little bit you know make sure you fully get wudu and you you cover those parts with water and then he said wa balagh fi istinshak and he said you know you know make a very thorough istinshak meaning taking water into your nose to clean your nose out be very thorough be very complete and clean out your nose except when fasting the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said illa an tukun sa'im except when you're fasting and so the ulama what do they say about this is that this is if a person makes excessive uh that it is disliked the ulama and the and ibn qudama rahimahullah ta'ala he said that it was ijma that it was consensus of the ulama that being excessive in madmad uh in the uh madmada was stanshak was stanshak meaning to clean out the mouth with water when making wudu and cleaning out the nose blowing it out the nose being excessive in that while fasting is disliked it's disliked meaning it doesn't break your fast it is not muharram but it is disliked so the hukum with that is disliked even if you do get water in your nose or you're making mud mud your your washing out your mouth then that does not break your fast so that does not break your fast uh the third issue or question here after doing wudu my towel becomes wet and when my towel touches my mouth or tongue i can feel the wetness go on them do i have to spit it out if that happens for all uh time so the third question also has to do with shuk or doubtfulness 
On top of that, you're not eating and drinking. You're not eating and drinking intentionally. So a wet towel is not considered eating and drinking, even if it rubs on your tongue or on your lips or what have you. Because when you make wudu, of course, water is going into your mouth and it's going on uh, on your tongue and it's going on your, uh, uh, you know, and on your lips more than likely. So that does not break your wudu. Likewise, using a wet towel does not break your wudu and that's from waswas of the shaitan. So be careful of the shaitan. Do not let the shaitan ruin your fast. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good during this holy month of Ramadan and protect us from evil. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from the shaitan. Was Allah, was uh, anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And anything I said that was incorrect was from the shaitan. Was sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And we'll end it there and then we'll have another sitting and go into details about those, uh, the, the shurut uh, for when a person's fast is broken. The conditions for when your fast is broken, which is very important. And it opened up a very beneficial door for us. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.